First, I want to thank you because I am a stage four cancer survivor. And in my darkest hours that a lot of people can't comprehend, you were there. You know, I'm going to live life. I'm going to live my days. How did you get from, I don't know if I'm going to come out of this battle. I don't know if I'm going to come home. How did you get from the darkest places to the brightest places? Sam Harris said to me, you talk about combat as your fondest memory. The best thing that's happened in your life is the high point of your life, which is all true. And he said, but then you talk about war being awful. So, which one is it? I said to him, I said, have you ever known anyone that has had cancer? Terminal cancer. And made it through. Have you ever known anyone that that's happened? And he's like, yes. And I said, when you talk to them, many times, they say, I'm glad that this happened to me. Number one, because it proved I could take it. Number two, it's better me than one of my kids. And number three, now that I know how dark it can get, I know how dark it can get. Now that I know how dark it can get, I truly appreciate the light in the world. Now that I know how dark it can get, I know how dark it can get. Now that I know how dark it can get, I truly appreciate the light in the world. That's what combat is and was for me. That's what it was. It was dark and horrible, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone, just like you wouldn't wish cancer on anyone. But if I can give them a little knowledge, a little bit of a glimpse into what it is, when you said that, people are clapping because they get to see a little bit of it. They go home tonight and they think, oh, what about that girl? What about that girl? She's fighting. She's living. And I'm gonna live too. And I'm gonna live too. Now that I know how dark it can get, I know how dark it can get.
Good dog. He's got clout, 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 clout.